Okay, guys, we're 90% done with this gazebo and everything out here. And you can see that the, the pond, is, the fish are all out. They're all wanting fed now. They're eating the algae. So we got maybe another week before their water temperature reaches 55. That's right. Your pond, every summer, you don't feed until the water comes up to 55 degrees. And you stop feeding after it goes down to 55 degrees. And they'll, they'll live all winter just fine. If you do feed during that time, their metabolism is so slow that that food will sit in their stomach and rot. And then they'll get all kinds of diseases. But anyways, you see the plants starting to grow. We got to bring all the plants from outside or inside to, back to outside. But look at what uh, we're doing today. I want to show you that the gazebo is almost done. Here we go. We've got all the everything built for the gazebo. And as far as the roofing, we only put on the center little roof. We didn't put this siding on. That's all right here underneath these mount shares because the wind can take this whole thing and go away. So our next step now is to screw it down into the cement. Then we can finish the roof and we'll be done. Um, but here's the living room set that came in. Let me zoom out a little bit. That's the living room set and it took us a couple days to build. And this is the patio table set. It took us a couple days to build. So one section of the gazebo is table and chairs. One section is you know, living room. It's pretty nice. And this whole end section right here will be the bar. So you'll be sitting on the outside of the gazebo right here. You know, you can still be part of the conversation of the people sitting at the table and chairs. Uh, now that leaves us this table and these four chairs, this table and four chairs. We're going to go ahead and get rid of them and let somebody else get them. We just bought these cushions at last summer and they were like 160 bucks for the full set. So we figure... 50 bucks a set. You want a table and four chairs? 50 bucks. Table and four chairs? 50 bucks. I've got two extra chairs. You can see how the weld broke there as spare parts. Um, so that's how we're going to do things. And then we still got the, the whole Tracy thing here. The rock spelled out Tracy. We got to get into the that end of the pond this summer. So we're going to do that. But you can see the vines are already growing up over that lattice. And then all summer long, we cut them off level with the deck. So that covers all that lattice and makes it look a little more jungly. So any of the big plants that go in there, they have a background of all that greenage. Uh, we've got that ladder to put away. And today's Tuesday, so Mitch is here. What's up, Mitch? What's up? Now we've got all this over here we got to get rid of. This is the tarp and all the metal for what used to be on that deck up there. Now we got a, a wood roof there. We took it around side and put it on the side of the house. Gave us nothing but problems. We got a metal carport in there. So now this stuff here, we're gonna give away a scrap to people. Uh, I don't know what kind of metal that is. And then there's a big old tarp. And then, uh, that's it. Okay, now up here, you can see that we've got the boat out of here and the other car. I'm gonna move the van over to the parking spot now, which will go right here next to this one. But there's the boat and Skyler's car. Now we have a lot that's our lot in downtown Cleveland. It's not the safest area, but we're gonna take this boat and this car to there today so that it can be parked legally because here we can't have the two boats. Well, they also said something about the bus. Now the bus has got good plates on it and I use that bus to haul Tracy to her different appointments. The problem being is they're considering it a recreational vehicle. So look at what the boat did to my yard. I got to fill these trenches in now. So you're only allowed one recreational vehicle and there's two boats here plus this bus. So the bus, I'm talking to the commissioner now. I left a message for him and see if, you know, they can allow me to have that as far as medical use. It's, it don't, it don't have a kitchen inside. It don't have beds inside. It's not set up for an RV. And that's what they were thinking it was. So hopefully we'll be able to keep the bus and one boat here, the smaller boat right there. This boat will be gone today. This car will be moved over here. Okay. So as you can see, we cleaned up the whole side. The yellow trailer's gone and the boat's gone from here and the big boat's gone so well it's not gone it's out on the street we got to drive it over to its new new place yet but we moved the little boat right in the parking spot right there so all we're worried about is the van and the van has got a good plate on it 
But I called them today and they said they consider that a recreational vehicle. And I'm like, no, I use that for medical purposes for Tracy. Um, they go, well, if it has a couch in it or, or a stove or anything like that, I'm like, no, it absolutely does not. It only has seats and it has a, a lift, a medical lift for handicap lift for Tracy. Now, Josh is going to take the Bobcat and we're going to take that around back. He said, I can have that in the backyard as long as I put it under a tarp. So we're good to go with that. And that leaves us the one trailer, which I'm going to try and leave right there. But today, I'm going to go ahead and put this tarp up across here, covering everything underneath that roof there. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so he's going to bring that up here. And see these ruts from the boat? This here, that there. And there's two more back here. This is the boat actual wheels. They sank into the grass. You can see it right there and right there. He's going to drive over it with the bobcat and see if we can mush them down flat. That's a nice machine. Oh look, Jerry's picked up the, the phone. He's not doing nothing. He's he's helping us. <laughs> he's recording. <laughs> we got the whole over the hill, you know, crew here. Over the hill rescue crew that's in action. It, that's it. <laughs> and you're looking at the young buck. <laughs> oh, God, that that's crazy. Yeah, I'm putting this bar furniture together. All right, these four are in now. They're nice and tight. Okay, I'm working the last one of these eight right now. It's almost tight. I'm okay. helping to the best of my ability. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Okay, Reaper's putting on the top of that chair while I video real quick. Jerry's here, but Jerry's got something to say. Hang on one second. All right, Jerry's got something to say. What were you saying? Yeah, we've got the three amigos here. What are these? These are us in about 60 years or so. Five years, bro. Five, Five years. years. <laughs> hey, I was being polite. <laughs> I don't do it very often. Well, the one fits. I'm missing one eye, so you're good there. The other, You two, you should take them off for the other two. We got to mark them. Reaper, Jerry, and Big Rich. <laughs> hey, our kids. Over the hill rescue crew. There you go. Our kids can put them in their fish tanks. <laughs> All right, we got Big Rich up on the ladder the excitement for the day. And it wants to walk everywhere. You can't start it like that, we're gonna have to hole punch it. Look at that, we got the wall up. Now you don't see nothing in there. All the way around. Boom, all the way to the end. We gotta trim that last pole in though. And then we gotta take this around the back and clean up this mud and throw that tarp away. And we'll be done, ready for inspection. Okay, so now we're back here. All we gotta do is cover this up and we're done. Got Reaper and Jim, Mark supervising. Right. With the cup in your hand. Making sure they're doing everything correctly. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. A little more over, Reap. A little more. <coughs> I think you can take it all the way to the ground. Are you caught on that corner? Yeah. Yeah, keep 
Good. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Are you touching the ground on that side? Not quite. Up to here on the back half. Okay. I'm going to get that. Ta-da! Okay, where are these guys hiding at? No, I told them to take a break. I think they're out here on the back deck. Oh. Been a rough. Hang on a second. Hey, guys. What the heck? Oh, they're out there. Oh, they're in the new gazebo. Not used to this. Ouch. All right, guys. We were able to finish the job today. So, um, big handout to you guys. Showed up and helped. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, you, you don't even ask, and they just show and, and just boom, they're there for you. That's awesome. So, uh, thank you guys. She's usually come out. Even Jerry came out and helped. It's amazing. So, uh, thank you guys. I will pass inspection tomorrow, and couldn't have done it without you guys. So, I got one more thing to say to you. Stay fishy, my friends. <laughs> I always know. Okay, guys, we're here at the hospital visiting Skylar. And we just brought up all the stuff you guys have sent in. This Thank is all guys. crazy. She got they a bed full. All the cards, too. Oh, that's so nice. I really appreciate it. It really makes me happy, especially when I'm not doing so good but from the looks of it I might be able to get out of here soon but I still have like a really long road of recovery procedures and then surgeries after this that I'm gonna have to just do with time I'm gonna be making like 10 appointments within the next couple days it looks right here doctor it's gonna be doctor 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 after this you're looking a lot uh rosier and pinkish yeah. in your skin my eyes are still a little yellow i kind of am gonna miss the yellow eyes though they're a little bit fun <laughs> okay <laughs> it's like wearing like you know those halloween contacts yeah but all the time okay so what do you got here a bunch of coloring books you got coloring so really books excited, yeah you got reese's sugar-free candy from jerry thank you jerry markers yeah these markers are awesome i love these gel ones um the potty mouth at the table. Oh, that's the perfect that's book for you. That's hilarious, and I can't wait to read it. <laughs> More coloring books? Yeah, I'm going to be coloring this little oh. storm. And then thank you, Brittany and Josh. Brittany and Josh oh, gave me a little, oh. a little pack of stuff from here and some shower stuff, which is really nice. Oh, and a razor, which I really needed. I'm like a <laughs> holy mammoth right now. Been afraid to use their razors. Did you just I, say you're you're looking like a woolly mammoth yeah. right now? <laughs> Wait till I show you my. Oh, there's a fish one too. Yeah. So I was thinking about coloring these and you know just giving them to whoever comes by. I like I like making gifts for people, so I like coloring stuff and making them. And then you got something over there. This is the best. <laughs> this is the best. I don't know who sent this, but this is probably one of the best things I've ever received in my life. First, I was like, it's oh, a cat. look. It's a cute cat stuffed animal. And then I saw the tail. It's a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever got this for me is a genius. A genius? This is the funniest thing ever. I love it. <laughs> I'm insane. <laughs> That's nice to see you just smiling again. Yeah, and then... The, uh, the um, flowers and stuff you got in are yeah, over there. so thank you once again, Bob Taylor. Thank you, Sebastian, for the flowers, too. And thank you, Amanda, for the flowers as well. And then people... Three different people brought me Funko Pops, too. And none of them knew the other person was getting me a Funko Pop. Oh, so wow. I got three Funko Pops over there. But I'm going to read off these cards. Some of them I'm going to have to scan to see. This one says, get well soon. I hope these help pass the time from an OFR fan. I'm going through all my But, um, I mean, if I knew who sent this stuff, I would definitely give you a shout out. Okay, I need to scan this one. I need to know about this one and this one for sure. That's for the potty mouth at the table and for the catfish. This is from Katie Curris. Thank you so much, Katie. Hi, Skylar. Hope you enjoy cuddling this cute and kind of weird shark. Oh, Katie sent it. Thank you, Katie. This is awesome. And weird cat shark plushie. 
It made me think of you. You will have to let me know what you name it. Feel better soon. From Katie Curris. In the comments, what should I name my catfish? <laughs> you have to let me know because I need something. I need something as funny as this gift is to name it. Katie Curris sent me another one. Hey Skylar, I'm so sorry you were sick. I hope you can stay positive and keep your chin up. When you get home, give Loki a kiss from me. Hang in there. From Katie. Thank you, Katie. And oh, Katie got me the book too. Katie, you are awesome at getting gifts. Hi, Skylar. This book is super funny, so I hope it gives you a laugh. Get well soon. Get well soon. Hope these pens are fun to color with from an OFR fan. Thank you, OFR fan. Have you uh, heard the latest conspiracies? <clears throat> what? What all the OFR people are talking about. For one, it was the one conspiracy was it's something in our house that's making the, the women go down. You know. There's a conspiracy theory now. No. <laughs> well, yeah, that the, there was a black mold problem, and, and that's why the girls it's are got, getting sick. No, it's got nothing to do with that. So I, I know, I know. But listen, then the yeah. next one was. I'm trying to kill off all the women in my life. <laughs> no. uh, a big reason of it, this is a good background, is I've been terrified of going to the doctors because I never really went as a kid. So it's been probably at least over a decade since I've seen a doctor, which isn't very good. And so there's, I have a bunch of problems that aren't even related to each other, which is why I have to go to a bunch of different kinds of specialists after this. I just hope I can get my dang gallbladder removed because that thing is hurting. But I, I tried today to... They, they do have me on pain meds at least, so I am comfortable, but I'm trying not to take them that much. It's just really hard when you're in a ton of pain. Okay, but can we at least have from the source's mouth that it wasn't me trying to take out the women at yeah, OFR? Yeah, not the women at OFR. <laughs> I don't know how you would give me fibroids. I don't know how you would and make my protein low and, <laughs> and my, hemo liver go out. my hemoglobin low. And I don't know how you took red blood cells out of me either and taking my plasma or something, Rich, when I'm sleeping. Uh, my bruises are starting to heal, though, a lot quicker. Yeah, that's a lot better. Look you you look really messed up. Oh, I think I got it to go away. Feel right here, Rich. No, thank you. That's okay. <laughs> it's all I had. I woke up and my leg was like double the size of the other leg, and I'm like, oh, oh really? Man. Yeah, I was freaking out. And but I, t I talked to the doctor, and it's normal to get um, fluid retention, like during healing, as you oh, know, okay, because okay. my organs are starting to work again. Apparently, my organs won't work in there for a little bit. Well, we knew your liver shut down. Yeah, I didn't know about any others. No, my like uterus is like we, a bunch of my organs aren't working. Really? Because we knew the uh, the liver and then the ulcers and my, then the infection in your esophagus. My period's like three weeks late now. Uh, this like is nothing's, TMI. <laughs> nothing's working. It's starting to work. It's just not there yet. <laughs> it'll, it'll get there. Maybe I'll work someday. I don't know. But no, usually I wake up in a ton of pain. So it's really just been like ups and downs. I've just been trying to... You know, remain positive because a couple of days ago I was just a disaster, and then I was like, you know what, thinking this negatively, that's not going to solve anything. It's just wasting my time. Worrying isn't going to do anything to help my situation. I need to stop Googling stuff because it scares me. Because <laughs> what they didn't tell me, these buttheads, is I looked it up and there's also like a 50 50% chance of me living when I got here. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, what the heck? Why didn't anybody tell me this? But um, I've just been trying to stay positive. I've been journaling a bunch, and that's been helping out a ton. That's all we stay catfishy, my friends. <laughs> you said stay catfishy, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just going to end it like that? <laughs> you're done talking? <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll see you, Skyler.